Hey everybody, what's up? This is Gary with GameStorm. And are you tired of buying games loose all the time, like loose cartridges and stuff and not having a box? You know, the loose cartridges don't look all that good up on your shelf when you want to display them. Well, what you're going to need are some of these universal game cases that will fit your Sega Genesis, Nintendo 64, Super Nintendo, uh, even fits your Electronic Arts cartridges for your Sega Genesis. Also fits multiple other games. You can also clip these sizing brackets out and they will fit your regular NES games. And you're also going to need some good photo paper if you want them to look really good. Some people print them on regular paper. I tried that, but I didn't like it. I like the photo paper. What we're using is this HP photo paper. Also, there's a website where you can get most of these covers from. It's called The Cover Project. It's easy to find, easy to use. Most of the uh, covers will say what they're formatted for. Most of them are formatted for these universal paint cases. But you gotta watch out because some of them are formatted to fit DVD cases or uh, Genesis cases, so make sure you look and see which format they're under. You're also going to need a decent photo printer. If you don't have access to a decent photo printer, you can go to Kinko's and see if you can get them printed out there. What's up guys, it's Adi. I'm going to show you the technical side of making these game covers. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser and go to thecoverproject.net. Once you're here, you can see all the different consoles on the side. Uh, we're going to look for Super Smash Brothers for the N64. So click on S. Scroll down a little bit. Find Super Smash Bros. Now there's going to be a few different options, but the first thing you want to check for is the case type. Universal game case, that's what we need. Now this will have the retail cover. For America, we've got the Japanese cover, show you a preview of that. Um, some custom covers. There's an up and down version. PAL version. And then here's the actual label for the uh, cartridge. Um, this one looks kind of washed out, but there's a custom cover that's the same thing, and it looks like the color is a lot better. So I'm going to click that one. And then you hit download. And I downloaded mine to the desktop. So I'm going to go there. You can open up your favorite photo editor, and I'm going to do that with, oh, how about GIMP? GIMP is free, it's just as good as Photoshop, so anyone can get this, so just get your picture, drag it in here. Okay, once your picture shows up, you can do two things, which we like to do with ours. Um, you can go to colors, and we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna change it to where it has more contrast, so uh, we opened up color curves. Now what we do is like to get about halfway right here, pull it up a little bit and you can see it's lightening it a little bit. Then down here it'll darken it. So just move that down. Give it more of a contrast. That looks good to me. Now the other thing you can do is uh, this, these letters and words right here, they're small and on the side right here, Sometimes they're kind of blurry, um, and some of the other stuff will be blurry. You can help this a little bit by going to Filters, and then going to Enhance, and we do Unsharp Mask. And you can change the amount and everything. I'm just going to hit OK, and a little bar come down here. Once it's done, you can see it'll change a little bit. And I like that. Uh, sometimes the Unsharp Mask will make it to where it looks kind of uh, distorted and pixelated. It just depends on what cover you have and the quality of it. Uh, so you might want to just play around with it and get the colors right how you want it. Once you have everything right like we do here, um, basically you're just going to print it. But uh, I would suggest printing it on just like regular paper first and uh, checking to make sure it doesn't cut it off a little bit. Even though these, uh, these covers off the cover project are supposed to be the right dimensions, they may not be. And uh, that was the case for this one. We had to uh, move it a little bit and, you know, like like barely any on the sides. And it would it cut off a little bit of this top right here, which was okay, you know. But uh, if you want it to be how it's supposed to, you might want to fix it. So, you know, you just go 
prints and uh, if I were you I would do a, a test one maybe use barely any color ink or maybe even black and white just to make sure and just uh, look at the picture that you printed out look at this see what parts it cut off maybe and then fix it accordingly and once you have it printed off you just cut it out and put it in the case So this is what the finished product looks like. This is a Nintendo 64 case we made. And they have different formats. You can have them like the original format like this, or if you prefer to have it like, say, the way the Genesis cases are, to where all of the artwork is vertical like this, you can have the Nintendo 64 like that. But personally, we prefer the original way on the N64 sideways, as opposed to vertical like this. Yeah, this is the Gen Genesis case I made, and this kind of shows you how you know the game fits in there. The game, the Genesis games, kind of fit a little loose, but you know they still fit pretty good. The Nintendo 64 games fit more snug inside.